If you guys are looking for the cheapest and most reliable coins on the market, make sure to head over to utnice.com and use code CHIEF for 6% off at checkout. Now let's go ahead and jump right into this video. What's up guys, it's Fee Chief here and we're back with some more insane trading methods that can help you make a ton of coins on FIFA 22. So today we got some mid slash higher budget methods for you. Going to be trading with some different team of the weeks and special cards to help build your coin balance up. And as we're getting into this, all I ask that you guys do, please drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel and check out my Twitch. Link is in the description for all my daily live streams. So let's go ahead and jump into this. So the first thing we're going to be looking at here is just gold team of the week cards and right now because of all the SBCs we've been getting and how much they've been being required to complete these all gold team of the weeks regardless of rating anything like that are selling for 16,000 coins a piece now selling for 16,000 you're gonna lose 800 on tax so basically we'd like to pick these up for 15k or less now sniping these isn't really feasible because there are just so many bots and things like that sniping these team of the week cards since you can make so many coins off of it it. so realistically you're going to be looking at strictly just bidding on these cards so what you're going to do is just set your max bid price here to 15k obviously and just kind of roll through here and see what you're able to pick up sometimes i'll start out bidding like 14.5k and just kind of see if i win the cards but overall what you can do is every single card here you're going to win for 15k a piece and then no, oh, basically every single card. So if you just bid 15k a piece here and then start listing them all for 16k, you're gonna make 200 coins a card here, which is very, very simple. But on these ones that are a little bit lower, sometimes I like to see if I can win them for 14,750 and just see what happens. So I'll go through and bid on a couple of those for just 14,750 and see what happens. But overall, you're going to have to bid 15K a piece on these if you want to pick these up. Now, keep in mind, if you do get some higher rated ones like Toko Akambe here, for example, in Otavio, I know they go for more. I know Tok Toko Akambe is like 24,000 coins. So keeping an eye on those cards is big as well because they go for a lot more coins. So if we take a look here, we are getting outbid for 15250 here. Now this Toko Akambe is going to be one to keep an eye on. So I like to keep footpin open when I'm doing this because I think Toko Akambe goes for about 23k. I know this guy's got to go for more because he's a little bit more of a popular league. So just keeping an eye on cards like that is good because a lot of times people will just like stop bidding at 15K or so, and you could actually make a lot more coins out of it. And that kind of leads into my next method, which is going to be kind of like picking out certain team of the weeks and just paying attention to those. So for example, like we saw there, Toko Akambe right here sells for about 24... 24 5 he's gonna sell for basically instantly so selling at 24 5 gonna lose what like 1200 coins on tax so would like to pick him up for like 22k or less so if we keep an eye on him now we got that market glitch where not everything pops up but if we search him here and just kind of scroll through to see if we have any deals there's going to be things that pop up because again a lot of times people aren't paying attention to cards like this and they're only paying attention to the cards that are like 15 16k and trying to pick those up so we can actually find a lot of deals on these cards so just to quickly run the math just to get it exactly so let's say we sell them for 24.5 then we're going to get 23,275 coins out of him. So I'd like to pick him up for 23K or less here is going to be a solid deal. Going to pick up that one for 21,250 and that one for 22,750. And basically just keep an eye on all of these cards. And again, this lets you just, you're not going to have as many cards here, obviously, because you're focusing in on one specific player. You have a lot more potential to hit big coins on these cards because while a lot of people may be focused on multiple cards at once, you're kind of locked in on this one card, just trying to make coins from it. So especially if we get one for like 22,250 here, that's over a thousand coins after tax here which would be very very nice if we sell them 24 5 there 19 5 so we could potentially have some good coins coming in here if we do pick these guys up so we did get outbid on this one i'm gonna bid 22k there do we pick so we picked him up for 22 5 that's a great deal actually 
and then did we get outbid here we did so we'll go ahead and leave this card and sometimes to refresh your transfer targets you just need to go out and go back in here as you can see here we picked one up for twenty two thousand two hundred and fifty here so that is going to be one thousand and twenty five coins after tax there which is really nice profit for just bidding on a toko akambe there over a thousand coins after tax things you love to see and then you can also do this you can pick out multiple players you want to do this with if you want to do this as well and 23k there i'll still make 275 coins after tax selling that so that's more than fine for me to bid on so that's another way you can go about this is just picking out that one specific player and that one's already sold so i could list them a little bit higher but you know undersold a little bit it is what it is we made some good coins now moving on to our next method something that flies a little under the radar because there aren't as many cards but they're relatively easy to trade with is silver team of the week cards now these have gone up as well because of these SBCs that have come. And alongside these SBCs, I'm expecting these to rise a little bit more with Silver Beast and Future and uh, Silver Stars probably requiring a, uh, or probably giving out, I should say, a Future Stars token. So I think these Silver Team of the Weeks are going to rise a little bit more. But right now they're selling basically about 15k here. So I'd like to pick these up for 14k or less. Again, I don't even bother trying to snipe these because of the amount of sniping bots on these kind of cards. But you can see here we got a decent amount of deals rolling in. We'll throw some bids down, see what we're able to pick up. And then I haven't really tried sniping. So I'm going to give it a go real quick and just see how quickly the cards pop up. At least I'm going to... I'd imagine they're pretty difficult to actually pick up here, but let's just kind of see if we uh, if we end up seeing anything here. But yeah, these are something, especially like late at night, cards like this, people I feel like just don't pay attention to them, and they become really, really easy to pick up just because, you know, there, there are special cards so you can make good coins off of them, but nobody really thinks to trade with silver team of the week cards, so you really can make some good coins off of them. So this is a way to go as well, because those gold team of the week, the gold team of the week method I show is going to be kind of like the most popular one you're going to see a lot. But something like this is something that could fly under the radar. So it seems like even this, there's not going to be a ton of cards popping up just because obviously there's not a ton of silver team of the weeks getting packed. And I imagine even if one does pop up, it's going to be difficult to pick up. So I do recommend just going like primarily just bidding here because otherwise it does seem like it could just be a waste of time here. Now, it looks like it's not going to be too hard to pick these up for like 14K a piece here, saying that I've just been outbid on one. And, you know, you've got quite a few cards coming in. And again, just to check the price of these, I believe I could sell 15250 here relatively quick. Yeah, 15250 is gonna be an easy price to sell. Let's check 155. Yeah, 15250 is gonna really be our selling price there. So let's just kind of see. We've been outbid on a one there. We want another Toko Akambe for 23. There we go. I'm gonna list this one a little bit more expensive, 24750. I'll list him 25 actually, because he'll sell for that eventually. So that's some good coins there. What bang? bang make about 700 coins after tax i believe just off the top of my head so there we go we get outbid for him if we can win these 13 750 though that's nice coins sell them for 15 250 times 0 0.95 we'll get 14,487 coins out of those so let's say we pick a card up for 14k you're basically making 500 coins after tax which is really really nice i would like to not have to pick them up for 14 250 but it is what it is if we have to yeah like this guy not interested in him anymore and just keep an eye on all these cards basically because you know you can make some good coins on these and again even 14 250 i'm not mad at because it you know still 250 coins after tax not bad at all there but guys that is going to be it for this video if you did enjoy it make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll catch you in the next video